Hello, Leonardo Cornejo here, having a moderate amount of fun. <laughs> you got the reference, you got it. And uh, today I want to talk about a reflection I have been making. I don't know if some other people have talked about it, but I was watching a movie review of the horror movie, live action, you know. Usually they make them live action. And they were pointing at some errors in the review, they were pointing at some things that made the movie, well, according to the reviewer, not worth it. It's a Mexican movie critic called Christoph Rasinski, and he was pointing at... <laughs> mm, how do I say it? Stage crew personnel showing up on camera. Uh, there is a, a scene in which a woman is taking a bath, you know, all this like suspense, dramatic moment, and you can see a guy walking, <laughs> like crouching, and passing in front of the window. Uh, he, he was trying to avoid being seen, in fact it's not plot relevant, so it wasn't an actor. It wasn't a plot element, it wasn't a special effects, it was a crew guy walking in front of the of the camera. And another case, the same movie, in which in the background, uh, among a bunch of trees, there is a guy on camera. There is a fully visible guy showing up. And this critic was saying, well, this, this movie is bad because of that. This movie is bad, it's it's crappy, it's not worth it, not watch it. And that led me thinking of something, wait, wait a second. Right, back where we left, left off, I had to make a cut because one of my cats has some issues. So I was saying, there was this guy on the background doing god knows what <laughs> well he was working uh, he was part of the of the crew so he was working but he he wasn't supposed to show up on camera it was an accident and that reminded me of the topic of this video i wanted to make for a while which was that if you can't get good special, good visual effects, good special effects, good makeup artists, animated. I'm talking not only about these small errors. I mean, these these errors you should make sure they don't happen. You should be trained enough to make sure they they don't happen. This movie is just bad. This movie is just crappy. It's not. It's not exactly what I am talking about. I am talking about. These situations in which you end up using plenty of green screen, of these green suits which basically look like Filthy Frank in green. Or even a whole Sentai suit, you know, even face covered. And they, they have this, this actor or this person, this staff person, this crew person. Maybe moving a puppet or something. Who <clears throat> who is all in green because he can't show up on the film. So in post production they will erase the guy and place something else. I don't know. Maybe a monster, something uh, digitally animated. If you can't film the movie without having. 50% or, or more of digital animation <coughs> make an animation stop using live action if you got 50% of more of, of digital animation if you can't make the, the special effects without using uh, uh, computer graphics without using uh, CG animation animate it and that's in general, or, or if you basically notice your your uh, your effects are crap, animated. Because otherwise, to be honest, it's an insult. 
it's mostly animation and for example that's an issue I had with most of the MCU before age quitting I, I literally gave up on Hollywood in 2020 and I gave up on <clears throat> on the MCU during basically after Endgame I decided I, I was on the fence and after a while I decided I'm not watching any, any more movies and it's not superhero fatigue because I do like superheroes I do like the, the general what I don't like is all this propaganda show shoehorn it in it show within it I don't like politics in my entertainment <clears throat> the thing is the thing is if you can't uh, that that was my problem. Hulk, mostly mostly digital animation. Uh, basically, this actor I don't remember his name. The the guy who basically plays Bruce Banner was voicing the guy, but was voicing Hulk, and a bit of his face, or rather his facial features, not precisely his face, superimposed on this big thing, which has, was computer animation. Mm, Rocket Raccoon animated and there is like mm, there is like all these pictures of the set during filming everything is animated the, you got this for example the Robert Downey Jr. most of the time was wearing a green suit well, for Iron Man and that is when he was there because most of the time Iron Man is computer animation when you are not seeing his face Robert Downey Jr. is basically not there. To be honest, that's an insult to my intelligence. Uh, all these characters, Groot, uh, Rocket, even Thanos himself to some extent, digitally anima uh, animated. <clears throat> Backgrounds, scenarios, all green screen. That's insulting. That's insulting, to be honest. If you can't help it, if you ha got 50% or more of digital animation of computer graphics just to make an animation. I know Americans are stupid and they don't they, they consider animation as an inferior as an inferior form of media. Uh, to everyone watching from America, I'm not counting you. I'm counting the, the you know the NPCs over there and Hollywood. I'm not counting you. You are not stupid, that's why you are watching this. Well, I know there is a, a vast amount of imbeciles in America who <clears throat> who are convinced that Donald Trump is the devil, who, <clears throat> who think animation is inferior, who think a uh, lolicon equals pedophilia. I will make another video about that. Um, I know Americans are stupid. I really have very little respect for, uh, for the American NPC, for the American army. I lost respect for America, to be honest. I, I used to admire America when I when the America I saw was the founding fathers' values, you know, Abraham Lincoln, all that stuff, all that cool stuff. Abraham Lincoln, Thomas Jefferson, mm, George Washington, even the America of the uh, of the, during uh, this time of World War II post-war even basically the, the I think it's called the great generation that old America which is no longer there I used to admire American values when I thought that was America even I, I used to think America in the 90s was decent good enough but well the American values were no longer there they were only shown on non popular culture they were no longer there. My point is, I know there are plenty of Americans who are not intelligent enough to understand that animation is not an inferior media. It is not for a medium. It is not for children only. <clears throat> it is not um, bad. There is a there is a reality, however, that sometimes, sometimes, and I will explain why sometimes only. Sometimes um, live action is cheaper. That's true. That's true. Live action can be cheaper if you make it cheaper. 
if you use <coughs> special effects, even if recycled, I don't know. <coughs> Monster costume, you see it in different movies. <laughs> if you use makeup. And there are really great makeup artists, and I really respect makeup artists. Even even American makeup artists. <laughs> because I, I was dissing on America. It is not America as in because all of America is like that. But there are plenty of NPCs who are like that. On the right and on the left. Because there, there are plenty of uh, right-wingers who are like, Oh yeah, only the left has NPCs. Yeah, then why are you saying Lolicon is pedophilia? Basically any American who says that, who says uh, animation is inferior, etc. They are stupid. They are Americans. Uh, the others... Uh, how do I say it? They are American NPCs and the other are American citizens. The, the American NPCs they are entirely unintelligent. They mentally deficient in all senses. They are really inferior to other, uh, to other, uh, to other communities, to other Americans, which Unfortunately, the NPC is the majority to other Americans and to other ethnicities, <laughs> and that includes that includes, for example, all these, as I said, all these woke Americans and plenty of right wingers. As I was saying, <coughs> uh, localizers are an example of inferior Americans. Americans tend to. These American NPCs, I, I, I need to specify because I do have American friends, because I do have respect for plenty of Americans, but not for the NPCs. And they are the majority. I got bad news for you, if you are watching this, you are not the majority of, of America. You are basically the Americans of your founding fathers, the kind of American deserving respect, but you are not the majority because the majority are right wing and left wing NPCs. NPCs are the majority of human population, and the only difference between right wing and, and left wing NPCs is that right, right wing ones are stupid, but they are not evil. That's the difference. And I am not kidding, I am not exaggerating. Left wing NPCs are evil. They are ontologically evil, but it's not even that related to what I am talking about. What I am talking about is a separate matter from right or left, because this is something stupid all American NPCs say that animation is inferior to live action. That animation is of lower quality, or it is for children, or all these, to be honest, insulting things, which are not true. Uh, they are not true. <coughs> the real problem here is... There are plenty of idiots who look down on animation, especially on anime, who think animation is for children. It is not. And they are really, really influential in mainstream media, in mainstream entertainment, in Hollywood and in movies. And they are idiots, all of them, because of their views. They are stupid, their views are stupid, they are wrong, they are mistaken, they are entirely... entirely false. And these idiots, unfortunately for you, they are influencing the media you consume, the media you acquire, the media you watch. And that sucks. That sucks, let's be realistic, that sucks. That's horrible. And it affects entertainment negatively. So I was saying, these people they are stupid and they think animation is inferior, but it, it is not. Uh, animation actually gives you plenty of freedom live action won't give you. I am not saying live action can't be good. Live action can be great. In fact, I would say, in terms of live action, horror it tends to be a bit better than animation. In fact, the, there was this discussion that many many horror anime lose the horror element quite fast. On the other hand, <clears throat> many horror films with live action design stay strong in that regard. There are many horror films which are really scary. They 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 will really how do I say it? 
they will really give you nightmares. I said that from experience, not with the nightmares part, but with the scary part. I mean, even uh, even the most how do I say it? the most niche ones tended to be better. I mean, for example, I still remember quite fondly the the pumpkin head films. I watched them a few, uh, the second and the first, I think. The the subtitle of one of the uh, of the ones I watched was Blood Wings. Damn, I I loved it because it was like basically this monster who was entirely justified in its action killing a bunch of stupid teenagers. It was great. It was kind of cool to be honest. I mean, because because fuck those stupid teenagers. That's why. <laughs> and. Uh, well, these these films were good. They were really, really entertaining. They, and the monster looked great. I mean, the monster design was convincing. The problem is that was a different time. That was a different time when people really cared about the uh, about the special effects. And you had many ways to make great special effects. You had, um, for example, you. Had these horror films, and you had um, how do I say it? You had horror, you had fantasy, science fiction with real live action elements. For example, you had these horror films like Alien, for example, uh, that one. I, I I was kind of struggling with my memory, but Alien, for example, the the first one, the 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 one with the xenomorphs, it was a scary, it was a scary film. I mean, it really had this this scary atmosphere, and it was great. It was really good. It was probably one of the uh, of the first films in the style and H.R. Geiger's art is great. I mean, um, I am not saying oh I was a big fan of his work because I wasn't because I wasn't until until I I grew older. Yeah, but I did watch the films. I really like them. And the, and the designs are great. Everyone knows HR guy Geiger's designs are, are great. Sorry if I, I butcher his name. I, I have issues with that, but the point is, the designs were great. The sets were built mostly. They didn't have that much uh, computer graphics. The costumes were very, very well made. The problem is they, they began to overuse computer graphics. As I said, 50% tops. Let's uh, let's set the bar at uh, 50% as a limit and not as the point where they where they should uh, switch to animation. But let me put it this way: if you have 50% closed, 50 and that's it. That's fine. But if you have 50.1%, animate it. Stop. Stop lying to yourself and animate it. And I, I mean it because I really noticed in the the MCU that you had all these designs with, uh, which are quite literally about 60% 60% computer graphics. And that's an insult. That's really insulting. I mean, I really take bother with that. I really take offense with that. I really think it's wrong. I really think you need to stop doing that. If you are producing films, if you are producing uh, TV shows, stop doing that. If you are going to s to make live action sh live action films, live action shows, if you want to make them good, because uh, uh, many of us actually throw a lot of shade to live action entertainment because of this. Because we really think it's an inferior media in uh, medium in comparison to animation because of this. 
but being realistic, being fair, it can be good. You can make great things with it. I do think there are things that are better of animated. Mostly fantasy. Mostly fantasy and, <clears throat> and science fiction. I think they are better of animated. But you can make really great live action films even in science fiction, as I said, for example, pretty much everything in the 80s. Alien, Minority, no, 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 Minority Report, that, that's another one. I... Ah, Total Recall. I mix them up. Total Recall, Alien, uh, Predator, the, the real Predator films, not, not, the, not the new ones. The real Predator films, I mean, Predator 2 was one of my favorite movies when I was a kid. Yes, I know it wasn't a, a, kid, a kid's movie, but nobody cared, and they, they, they even had the toys which were marketed kids. And in fact, I remember this lore element which someone mentioned. It was to make it marketable to kids when about the Georgia refusing to, to attack children. And it was to market it to kids. For so, so that the kids buy about the toys, and it was like a really cool element because it makes it makes sense for a hunter, for a hunter-based hunter, to not kill children, to wait for them to become uh, warrior adults in, and become the best prey instead of of killing. Well, hey, <laughs> pretty much one of the weakest <laughs> weakest infants of the of this planet. With, I mean. Human children are really weak compared to human adults <laughs> and compared to children of other species Human children are really weak, I mean physically weak Even if they have a, some, uh, I mean a child genius or something like that Even if they have the mental capacities to make a human, look, a human adult look stupid Children are really weak, they, they are not made for hunting Adults are hunters, children are, are not so it was a really smart move to make it marketable for children without taking away all the all the cool elements of the of the monster. And well, it makes sense. It makes sense within the lore. They they, they didn't have to ruin the lore on, on like modern on like modern films. They didn't have to ruin the lore to make it logical. To make it to have an element which they wanted to use. They didn't need to ruin the lore. The lore stays fine. The lore stays, stays functional. They didn't have to ruin it. They didn't need to ruin it. But of course, you... you no longer have that level of quality. Now you have all these um, politically motivated films which they do shoehorn elements. Anyway, back to what I was saying. <clears throat> they, there was this scene with the, the Predator, and it was a really good movie. I mean, it was one of my favorite when I was a when I was a, a child. It, the Predator was on one of my favorite characters. I I wanted to to get a costume of the character. It was really cool. The design and everything was made with mostly makeup. I mean, the mask, the face of the, of the monster was makeup. The the clothing was makeup, and you do still have some movies like that. I mean, uh, as far as I know, the uh, latest Predator films, even though they are crappy in comparison, they are few in comparison. They are actually the last one. I heard it sucks. I didn't even bother watching it. <clears throat> but I heard they actually. Mm, I heard it was bad, but I heard it uh, it actually used makeup instead of not mostly mostly digital animation, and that that's that's the problem. I mean, the the entire MCU, mm, this Avatar film, not 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 uh, not the real Avatar, the the one with the blue cats. The Avatar film with the blue cats. Animated. If you are going to have more than 50% of 
of its of the visual elements made with digital animation just make an animation make, make a full-blown cartoon out of it and you can make really good animation uh, science fiction animation even I mean <clears throat> the the Halo animated films not that live action crap they made which sucked Halo animated films the, uh, I feel sorry for Halo fans. I am not a Halo fan. I the, the only times I played was uh, multiplayer with a friend who ran the, on the game. But I know Halo is a really, really well respected franchise. Has a strong fan base. I feel sorry for the fans because it was really an insult. I mean, the, the live action was horrible. Horrible. It, it really sucked. But back to what I was saying. Not that one, but the animated the, the animated films, which were not even on, on theaters as far as, as far as I know. They were good. Uh, Starship Troopers, which started with live action and they moved on to animation, it was good. The animations were good. I understand there there was a Dead Space animated film. It was good, and in fact. There were some Resident Evil animated films which somehow didn't suck in comparison to the to the live action ones, especially the, that Netflix Resident Evil crap. It, it wasn't a Resident Evil. It was zombies and a, and a black guy who calls himself whose name is Wesker. <laughs> it was an insult to the franchise. That's true. It was an insult to the franchise. It was an insult, insult to the audience. But the, the animated ones, they weren't that bad. I, I won't say they were great, because most most adaptations, even when animated, they go they come off as inferior to the original. But they were good enough to have friends of mine saying, "Oh, you need to watch this this Resident Evil animated film. Leon looks like in the games." They, that was basically one of the positives they had to say, because as I said. Live action, uh, I mean, uh, uh, film adaptations of video games tend to be inferior to the games themselves, even. But they they, they had the positive. Leo looks like, like in the games, and I'm like, mm, that's convincing enough. I'm not going to watch it because I play the games, but that's convincing enough. So you can make good animation. You can actually make decent video game adaptations through animation, and instead, uh, and actually, back to back to Marvel because le let's talk about the the MCU and all that stuff. One of the last films I ever watched, one of the last Marvel films I ever watched, was uh, Into the Spider Verse, and I I don't even really like Miles Morales that much. Because I think he's the inferior. The, he's the, the discount Spider-Man. He's a Spider-Man, <laughs> you know that that Chinese knockoff Spider-Man. That's Miles Morales. I don't really like Miles Morales, but it was good in that movie. Into the Spider-Verse was good. They they actually they actually failed their audience by not making more of it, by not making sequels, but not making a sequel featuring Penny Parker. I mean, come on! You're sitting, uh, you're sitting on pure gold, and you don't, you don't even give her a chance. Everyone knows she's, uh, she's the better, she's the better, the better protagonist. Why? Because she's a lolly. Fuck you. That's why. <laughs> Jokes aside. Jokes aside. Mm, it was a really good movie. It was entertaining. It was fun to watch. And for example. I I have watched many animated adaptations of several several Marvel movies and and of, uh, several comic and of several animated shows. I mean, I'm not a comic book guy, even though I want to give I some a chance. I'm not a comic book guy. I'm I, I I'm more of a manga kind of guy. That's why I want to give uh, I some a chance because I have heard it follows that style of manga of having a coherent story if you want to start reading it you start at book one 
that's that's what comics should be. But even though I am not precisely a comic book fan, I I actually review I used to Marvel through animation. And for example, there was this animated film, a Planet Hulk, Planet Hulk, an animated film, which was a lot less brutal than the, than the comic and the source material, but it was still very very extreme in comparison to to the what could be called the Marvel adaptation, the the, the MCU adaptation, which was this. <laughs> this Thor film, Thor Ragnarok, which took elements of Planet Hulk. Uh, it could, it could, it was the the animated <laughs> the animated film was better. I, I watched it. It was cool. Mm. And and that's why that's what I'm saying. If you if you can't make it a live action, just animate it, and it will be great, and people will like it. Because your target demographic doesn't care if it is live action or not. I know there is this whole argument of wider audience appeal. Wider audiences are stupid. <laughs> no joke. They, wider audiences are the NPCs. Wider audiences don't really have that great of a taste. And wider audiences can be convinced to watch almost anything. You can make great live action animated films if you if you actually want to make live action but if you are going to use computer graphics you are not even making live action you are making computer animation and if you want to make computer animation go ahead and make it animated don't waste my time don't waste uh, my patience on this fake live action thing because it isn't even full blown live action. You want live action? Use props, use makeup, use special effects. Like in the 80s, in the 90s. They, they, they didn't have that much in terms of, of digital animation. And they used makeup, they used the special effects. That was cool, that was great, that, that was. Good. <sighs> Don't insult me with <clears throat> with a uh, live action with, with a live action animation full of CG. That really bothers me. That that's the thing. It really sucks. I mean, why would you want? Mm, why would you want a uh, fake, fake um, live action animation? Uh, I mean, a fake live action film. I mean fake because when you are using um, when you are uh, using uh, uh, visual effects which are made entirely of digital animation. That's not live action. That's it. That's exactly the uh, the problem. That's not even live action. You want live action? Make live action. You want animation? Make animation. Don't half ass it. Don't give me. How do I say? Don't give me a movie with basically one or two live action author actors in a, an entirely digital background. And the, the MCU is the example, and, and it pisses me off quite a lot when I see these articles online, because they, they are mostly online articles, saying, uh, showing, and they are mostly from, you know, normie NPC level media, saying, oh, uh, uh, look at the new, uh, uh, the new backstage of Marvel, whatever, well, whatever is the name. Look at all, uh, look at how great it is and they are showing you green screens and people in green suits there is barely any setting which is not computer graphics that's an insult stop doing that if you don't if you don't want to make a full set have the decency of animating it 
make it animated and it will be great and people will like it people will watch it the generation of imbeciles who think uh, who think uh, animation is inferior is mostly mostly gone already i mean they are they are the boomers they are mostly gone already they are they are old aging and dying thankfully <clears throat> the vast majority of people grew up with animation and they don't think it is it is an inferior media or anything they they actually have more respect for animation than for live action entertainment so how do i say it politely stop trying to convince us of of watching live action films which are full of digital animation go for animated films give them a chance it will be great i can guarantee people will like them don't don't try to don't try to trick the, trick the audience with mm, how do I say it with a guy in a green suit. It's really bothersome. I mean, I mean, I kind of like spin around a, a little bit around the bush a little bit too much. But that's because the whole core of my argument could be said in one line. Stop making animated films, live action animated films. <laughs> Stop making this uh, uh, and make animation instead. Stop making this uh, live action films full of of digital animation, which are actually animated films. The these guys as live action films. Stop lying to your audience. Stop insulting your audience's intelligence with this false live action. It is not live action. I mean, let's be honest. If you have more than 50% of, of digital animation, that's that's animation. That's that's an animated film. So just go for it and animate it to, uh, entirely. Unless you are going to make something, and uh, there is an exception. There, there are exceptions. Unless you are going to make something, you know, in the style of, for example, Cool World, um, Space Jam, in which the, the idea is mixing animation and, uh, and digital I mean animation and the live action unless that's the idea, unless that's, the, that's the, the concept itself don't do that don't do that, don't, don't, don't make a... how do I say it? don't make a, a live action film out of something you could animate or more like, don't make an anime, a live action film you can't make without animation. Just go for animation. It will work. It won't. It won't be bad. People will like it. Audiences actually care about uh, about animation. Uh, audiences actually respect animation. The problem isn't the the audiences themselves. I mean, the 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 NPCs are part of the problem. This the NPCs are stupid, and most of them are American, but. The paying audiences, who are not NPCs, they don't care. They don't, they they don't mind. They actually like animation, and I am not the only one saying it because of that. If you really want to make li live action films, make actual live action films. Stop abusing um, digital animation. Stop abusing computer graphics. Personally. I will keep an eye on that. Uh, even I, I don't know. I, I don't want to to watch any Hollywood film. I, I actually hate Hollywood. But if I am going to watch a live action film, no matter where it, co it comes from, most of them are com coming from Hollywood. That's the problem. But if I am going to watch a live action film. I will watch it only if it is live action, real live action, and not animation with a few scraps of live of live action. And the MCU is the one of the the biggest offenders in that regard. Seriously, there's so much CG graphics. It's insulting. Well, that's it for today. Have a good one, and don't watch those films. A Steel and Flame, book 1 of the Guilds of Avalon series is available on Amazon. If you like fluffy world lolly protagonists and Japanese-like novels, follow the link below to check it out.